Hey everyone, so yesterday I announced I was going to be starting a new video series, um, an Enforcers Hall of Fame, where I'd just be, you know, creating my own Hall of Fame for some of the greatest and most legendary enforcers in NHL history. And it is time for our first inductee. So I don't know who you guys guessed that it would be. Um, I have some ideas on who you might have thought would be the first one to get in, but uh, without a, without any uh, he more hesitation here, the first inductee into my Enforcers Hall of Fame is Dave Schultz. He was really the original Enforcer, and that's why he's going in first. Um, Schultz, obviously known mostly for his time with the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, was a key, key part of those Broad Street Bully teams that won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. And um, just, he made, before Dave Schultz got, there were plenty of tough players for sure, but they would only fight like eight, nine, maybe ten times a year. Ten fights in a season was a lot. And um, it was really Schultz and the Flyers who made fighting a prominent thing and who would make who made fighting a common thing and um, really you know that Schultz was really the first true enforcer or someone who would who could literally fight almost every game you didn't see that before Dave Schultz um, all the great enforcers to come after him were made possible because of Dave Schultz um, he was the first guy to come in and fight a lot and fight all the time and um, you know, get, he, he was the first guy to be fighting on a regular basis. So, um, here just across the top is his career stats. Schultz played 535 career games. He had 79 goals, 121 assists for 200 points, and 2,292 penalty minutes. Um, that is a ton of penalty minutes for a career that was, you know, just over 500 games. Um, he had a, a, the best fight statistics I could find were from HockeyFights.com. He had 158 career fights. His, uh, that's including playoffs, so that's regular season and playoffs. He had 158 fights. And um, his most in a season, both combined regular season and playoffs, came in 1974-75 where he had 33 fights. Um, and that's an absurd number for um, that that time. Um, he had 25 in the regular season that year. Again, that's a time period where before that, generally, you know, 10 fights in a season was a lot. He had 25 in the regular season that year. Um, and th another, another eight in the playoffs. So uh, 33 fights that year, um, just a ton for, for that time period. Um, he still holds the record for most penalty minutes in a season, uh, which also came in 1974-75. This is just regular season now. He had 472 penalty minutes. So that's an insane number that will probably never be reached again, um, especially given the decline of penalty minutes in the game You know, over the last 10 years or so. Um, no one will ever come close to that ever again. And um, he had th four times... He, he had um, 300 plus penalty minutes over his career. So um, really a great enforcer, very good fighter, willing to fight um, you know, for anybody at the time, and um, really the first true enforcer in NHL history, someone who fought a lot and would fight anybody. Um, I, he played most of his career with the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, that's obviously what he's most known for is being a, one of the Broad Street Bullies. Um, won two Stanley Cups with them back to back, and um, you know was a huge, huge part of that team and a big reason why they were successful. Um, after Philadelphia, he went to L.A. for a, for a, 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 a little more than one season. Then he got. Uh, sent to Pittsburgh again. He pretty much just did like year and a half stints with LA, Pittsburgh, and Buffalo. His career ended in 1980 uh, with the Buffalo Sabres, and it, actually he spent a lot of time down in the AHL for, for in that season. So um, 
he didn't have a super long career in the NHL. Um, he his first he played one game in 1971-72, but 72-73 was his first full season, and by 1980 he was out of the league. So he didn't you know last as long as some other enforcers did later on in history. But um, he did have a good career. He had 200 career points, so he wasn't a slouch. Um, he wasn't, you know, completely useless in the scoring department. And uh, but obviously, he's much more known for his penalty minutes and fighting in his 535 career games. So, um, yeah, that's it. He, Dave Schultz, is my first inductee, um, the original enforcer. Um, he was the first guy to make fighting you know, a prominent tactic in the game and um, use it to, to, to intimidate and um, give his team a physical advantage. So um, that's the first, uh, in, first episode of this video series. He's, Schultz is the first inductee. Um, I know who the next one's going to be and uh, I'll be doing that video hopefully sometime soon. Um, but by so at some point this week, I'll probably do that video. But um, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. Check out OffTheWallHockey.com. All those links in the description. Um, keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep it growing. Uh, the subscriber count is going up every day, which is fantastic. So thank you all who have subbed. If you haven't subbed yet, please do. Um, got hockey content coming. You know all multiple videos a week every week so it's going to keep on coming um, i hope you enjoyed the first video of this series and there's definitely more to come so um, thank you all for watching and talk to you guys soon